What is going on guys, Viper here and welcome to another player review on the channel. Today EA released a Showdown SBC set coming with Sule and a um, PK. So first of all, we are going to be reviewing Sule. I personally think, on paper, looking at both the cards, I think Sule is considerably better. Um, reason being, he's got a great body type in game, he's very strong, he's very aggressive. Um, they've juiced up his pace like crazy. Um, looks to be a very good card. Awesome pace, great links. Um, obviously, we're linking him here with Davies, so that's a great link. Um, you can perfect link him to Neuer if you do have Neuer in your team. Um, and obviously, if Bayern Munich do win, then Sule is going to go up to a 90 rated, probably get like 86 pace, 90 on defending and 89 physical. Be a mental card. He's actually got okay agility and balance as well, which is something that I wasn't expecting. Obviously, he's got very low jumping, which doesn't really matter because he's six foot five. He's got a freestyle weak foot, medium, medium work rates, which I do quite like on centre backs. Yeah, he decided to really, really juice these cards. I'm very, very excited to use him. In terms of his chemistry style, I think you could argue an engine to get his vision up and to get his agility and balance up. Um, his defensive stats in some areas are a bit low, though. Obviously, on the face card, he has 83 pace, um, 87 defending, and 86 physical. With good agility and balance being at 62 and 56, respectively. He has good passing, but he is very, very low on the vision, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, so that's why I thought the engine might be something you guys might want to look at. Um, he's got a really good pace split as well. Um, great um, strength and aggression combination with good stamina, but you don't really need stamina on centre-backs anyway. Um, he can only play centre-back, unlike PK, which we'll talk about in the next video. So guys, make sure you leave a like on it um, so you see the PK video straight afterwards. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing him in this team. We're going to play a game of um, qualifiers of really finished champs. And, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to go for, if I have one in the club, I do have one in the club, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm going to go for a, for a shadow. Um, reason for that is his defensive stats are a bit low in certain areas. And he's getting a plus 10 on his pace here, putting him up to 93 pace. With 90 defensive awareness, um, 93 head and accuracy, 94 interceptions. 99 stand tackle and 99 uh, slide tackle. Looks to be a great card. Really, really excited to use him. So let's get into a game and see how we get on with Nicolas Sule. All right, lads. So into the game we go. As I usually do with all of our player reviews, I'm going to keep you here for a half. It's relatively hard to review centre-backs. Um, so I'm going to kind of stand off a little bit um, and let him attack me. Obviously, we want to see how good he is at dealing with the counter-attacks as well. I've got a feeling he's going to take really, really long strides, which is going to be quite nice for us. Obviously, you can see he's a bit of a tanking game, you know. He looks massive. Um, and that's why his jump is low. That was kind of like a um, something that EA kind of do sometimes with like the taller players. Um, and he has an insane body type as well, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm kind of just going to let him attack me um, uh, where I can. Obviously, I don't want to lose the game. But let's, let's see how good he is at dealing with the counterattacks. He might actually be up here. Yeah, look at him. There he is. His jockeying seems okay. Oh my god, he is quick. Man, he is fast. Look at him go. Oh my god. He's probably too fast for his own good, to be honest. Oh my god. Um, yeah, that's that that's crazy how quick he is. Genuinely crazy. Obviously, so th this this um showdown card in comparison to uh PK. Um straight away. Yeah, nice from Sula. Um, what you're going to notice is um, this one is more kind of catered to, to a proper centre-back, um, like an old-fashioned centre-back, where, where PK seems to be a bit more advancing. You know, I, I think he'd make a really good CDM, PK. Um, not going to go too too deep into that, though, because we obviously want to get the uh, the review in. But yeah, he's definitely the... Sule is definitely the more of the, the more actual centre-back player, you know. He is quick, man. He's, he's going to be good, guys. Um, he is definitely going to be good. If he gets that upgrade too, showdown SPCs are so awesome. Um, that Yeah, if he gets that upgrade, it's going to be game over. Um, and, you know, you could probably trust Bayern to beat uh, Barcelona, you know. Um, but, yeah, so far, very impressed. Um, takes really, really long strides, which I think helps him, um, like, be quicker. Um, or kind of, like, makes up the pace, you know. Um, and yeah, he seems uh, he seems decent so far. Obviously, I'm going to try and let him attack us. Um, 
the, the great thing about a card like this, he's got such a big frame that he is just going to be able to to do like the um, the long tackles, if that makes sense. Um, very long legs um, and just a great body type for a centre back on this game. He doesn't even feel heavy, which is a great thing about it too. I was very, very, very. Oh my god, has that gone in? Oh, I was very worried he was going to feel quite heavy, um, but thank God. The EA uh, were nice to him in that regard. Let's see if we can keep up with Leroy here. Yeah, man. He, he, he's going to be an animal, guys. Um, you can trust him to be the one that gets the upgrade too. Um, probably. So, th obviously, that's a massive, massive plus, And he feels like an absolute unit in game. Um, so far, I know we're only 20 minutes in. But I'm genuinely very, very impressed with this card. Um, it's a very, very unique centre back. There's not many six foot five centre halves on FIFA that have a good pace split. Um, you know, you've got players like Upper Mancano who are very, very strong. Um, very, very nice from Sule there. Um, you know, like like Upper Mancano, they have such a poor pace split. I mean, it kind of deems them useless almost. That's my opinion on Upper Mancano anyway. I don't like him because of his pace split. So it's really, really nice to have somebody that is an animal, like very, very tall um, and a good pace split, you know, because it's, it doesn't happen very often on FIFA and that you get that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a great, um, great thing to have. He's genuinely been very impressive as well. His positioning seems good. His playing out the back is quite nice. Um, no real issues with his passing so far. Um, and as I said, I am kind of letting him attack me a bit more so I can get a more of a feel for Sule. Um, but the kind of, the, you, as I said earlier, you know, the kind of thing you're getting with this card is you're getting the ability to go forward. Um, sorry, not to go forward. He's he's um, that's for PK. You know, PK can can bring the ball out properly and then start your your counter attacks. Sule, you know, whilst he hasn't got bar, bad passing. Um, he is definitely there to be more of a genuine centre-back, you know. This guy's not a bad player, by the way. Fair play to him. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very, very impressed. I, I rely so heavily on fast centre-backs. Um, yeah, he's going to be caught out there. No, he isn't. Oh, wow. I thought I'd defended that quite well, but he managed to get there ahead of me. Um, but yeah, guys, I've been very, very impressed so far with Sule. I don't know how he didn't get the block in there, but um, genuinely speaking, or generally speaking, sorry... He's been quite good. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to bring you back some highlights. Go on, Sule. Oh, yeah. I like him a lot, guys. He's very, very good. Come on, Sule. Keep up, pal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's so good at that. We're at half time, guys. We're 1-0 down. I'm not playing very well. Um, you know, I've kind of let him come on to me, um, as I said I would. Um, but yeah, I feel like I I'll easily win this game. Um, but yeah, he's been really, really good so far, Sule has. Um, really, really nice, you know, uh, body type. And it allows him to tackle the ball very, very well and very cleanly. Um, is what I've noticed so far. But guys, we'll just get into the second half and see how we get on with Sule. Rapid. Um, and he has such long... Man, he is good. He is very, very good, guys. Wow. Wow. All right, guys, so game done with Sule. Really, really enjoyed him. He's got a great body type. He's very, very fast. He's very, very tall, which means he tackles um, very, very well with his long legs, um, kind of like Vieira does. Um, if you guys have ever used Vieira on previous FIFAs, you'll know that because he's got such long legs, he gets into tackles and gets stuck in, and he usually comes away with a ball. Um, I really, really enjoyed him, guys. Medium, medium, didn't have an issue with that. His weak foot was okay. His passing was not the best. Um, you know, for a 150 odd K, I think he's going to come in at. He's very, very good, man. Um, if he gets the upgrade, he'll be absolutely ridiculous. Probably the best centre back on the game, in my opinion. Um, I find him to be really, really good. Um, 150 K, I think he's worth every penny, as I've already said. Um, links to so many great players on the game. You can perfect link him to Neuer, which is really, really nice to have. Um, Upman Kano as well, if you like him. Not my personal favourite. Um, I think Sule is a great option with his body type um, being one of the greatest things on the card um, with his long legs. He's kind of got like the slim body type in game, but he's really, really tall. So it kind of, you know, kind of makes it so he somewhat feels nimble in game. He turns quite quickly. 
his jockeying isn't bad at all. Um, if he gets the upgrade, we're looking at probably like, you know, 60 balance and like 68 agility. Um, it's going to be a really nice upgrade as long as he does win. Obviously, they're playing Barcelona and uh, PK is the uh, the other card, which we're going to be reviewing very, very shortly. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I really like him. Obviously, I can't say either way if I prefer him to PK or not. Um, in the PK video, I'll be able to tell you which one I prefer. But guys, this is an 8 out of 10 card. One of the top five centre backs on the game, in my personal opinion. Really, really enjoyed him. Go ahead and get him done. And yeah, I'll see you in the PK review. So leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you very shortly. Take care.